Another question to Mr. Ben. Um, your solution to the, to the monarchy uh, was a president, but if I've interpreted correctly as the bill, your bill was drafted at the time, it was an indirectly elected president. It was, it was someone chosen from amongst members of the House of Commons and the House of the People that's going to, would have replaced the House of Lords. Would you now favour a directly elected head of state rather than someone chosen from the... I think the problem of a directly head of state is the problem really you get a conflict between two sources of authority. Right. Someone elected by the people, like an American president, would have a degree of authority that they could claim was greater than the authority of those in Parliament who are large numbers and divided and so on. So I prefer the idea of a titular head of state. And strangely enough, if you're looking for a suitable titular head of state, I think the Speaker of the House of Commons would be perfect. He is elected by Parliament, he's respected, he understands the Constitution. And uh, if you had him and a, a Prime Minister who was really accountable for what he did, I think that would be the best balance he could get. Mr. Burke would be very pleased by, by that statement.